Thank you for being with us in this interviews with Stereophonica. Today we are with a Swedish indie pop or a dream pop trio, self-describe it, as a music project based in Estocolm. Welcome, Vivi. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for having us. Well, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Emil? I'm doing good, man. I'm, 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 I'm painting my house. I just bought a house and I'm painting and I'm feeling quite good. We actually have kind of nice weather here in Sweden this time of yeah. year. So I'm very happy. Where are you located right now? I mean, you're in Sweden, but I'm waiting. I'm in, I'm in, in Stockholm, but on an island called Ekerö. Okay. Fadingsö. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the origins of the band. When did you decide to leap from your music? Yeah, I mean, our story goes, I mean, it goes, goes a few years back. I mean, for me and my wife, obviously, we've been together for, for a long time and we do music together. Uh, but we, and we, we also met Anders like a long time ago because me and him studied music together. And then we went our separate ways and then we found, found, found each other again, like maybe some seven years ago. And then we just found each other musically and, uh, I mean, we've always been friends, but uh, we, we found each other on on every level and we started making music and uh, yeah, that's the way we do life nowadays. Try to see each other as much as possible. Just try to make music. Yeah. Because uh, that's what's keep, that, that it keeps us going, you know? Okay. It, is, it, is it easy uh, for a musician uh, to play and to live with, with, with his wife, with your wife? Oh, if it's easy to, yeah. to, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that part has always been kind of easy because, um, we, we've been hanging out for such a long time. So, so we're like, really, really, she's like, well, obviously she's my best friend. So, uh, it's, I mean, normally it's not an issue. We're just, just having fun together and, uh, both of us like, uh, like the same things basically. And, uh, just, no, there's no complications yet. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Maybe that will occur. But right now, I mean, it's kind of boring to hear that it's like, I yeah, know it's 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 all good. It's all good. But that's it's boring. But it's true because we um, we we make music get together and we uh, we like hanging out together. That's great. Okay, why do you decide to play pop? Um, what bands do you like to hear as influence on your sound? Ooh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean. All of us, we really love the 60s pop music. Uh, that's a big inspiration for us. And also the German techno scene is something that we really appreciate. And then, uh, I mean, Caroline and Anders, they all, both of them come from a classical background. So classical music as well, I would say, would be a big inspiration. So those okay. three uh, pil pillars, pillars, I think, is, is kind of, yeah. The foundation are there any other swedish uh bands that influence your sound oh, i mean there, there's so so i mean there's so many good swedish bands and uh but uh i don't really know i, I i'm at the moment like really tuned into uh to this um the old um Jussi Björling. i don't know if you know that is he's an old no. opera singer he's an opera singer he's uh he's a swedish a swedish old opera singer um, I'm into him right now. So right now, UC Björling is what I'm listening to, actually. Okay. So, but but I'm, I mean, obviously there are good Swedish pop bands, but uh, but I'm like really bad at knowing the names. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens, and I, and I, that's why I'm getting old, man. I'm 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 listening to to uh, not not that much of pop music actually. It's it's more like opera and and german techno at the moment okay after a single summer of 99 ran the boo full alone in one day we finally got the album mondays can you share yes. a bit about your creative process for this record yeah sure i mean mondays was uh we just we just went into the studio when this whole pandemic thing started you know uh, and um uh it's yeah it's still weird, but it was weird then as well. And uh, we were like, we had to decide what day we were gonna hang out and make music together. Uh, and 
that became uh, Mondays actually that that were a, that that was a working day and uh and Mondays became a working day and we made like all of the songs uh on Mondays and that's basically why the album is called Mondays it was like we really when we grew up like Mondays was our the worst day of the week because it was the beginning of the week and we had to go to school right so uh we decided to make that day uh we decided to take that day back actually you know from anxiety to like full on creativity uh and it just happened that 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 we, we we took that monday and we worked on mondays and we wrote like every single song was like obviously we worked a little bit in between but mondays was our working day and that's when we created like all of these songs that's in this album is there a particular track on mondays that you like the most i would say um for, for my part it's um it differs it, it depends on what day you're <laughs> you're listening to it but for now i mean when you're making an album like this you're like mixing and then and you're listening to the song so many times so now i'm not like sometimes you don't you just don't want to hear yourself but for me for my part i i really like uh swimming pool and disco all night long okay do you have any special rituals as a band after a show I would uh, say that yeah, the ritual is just um, you know like yeah, finding uh, uh, some space to be alone for a while and <laughs> just uh, staring out into a wall or something, or just like being with us three because it's normally us three when we're playing live. Sometimes we have some friends and we have a bigger band, but for the most part, it's just us three, um, and then we just try to get some time alone. I think for like uh, 15 minutes or something like that, at least. Yeah, it was difficult to create this uh, album during the pandemic. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would say I would say the the, the difficult thing about that would be the the, the lack of time. Yeah. Like uh, we were like we had to uh, we had to plan in in, in a different way because because our lives couldn't like go together uh as, as we i mean normally we could go to the studio whenever we want to and we could do uh those creative things whenever but now we had to like plan stuff so normally we could if in, the inspiration hits you then you can go to the studio and you can work right but now you had to like keep, keep those ideas you have to keep those ideas on the phone or or in your head or in your mind uh that was like the tr tricky part i think but i also think that there is a there's a power to the limitation you know when you have limitations you gotta you gotta play with it you gotta work with it sure. so i would say that time is, is the lack of time was a little bit tricky but still uh was uh, on our side okay are there any other upcoming projects that you shared with us about what's next for bb yeah, next for VV is uh, uh, hopefully we get to like uh, play live. Uh, I don't know if that if that will be possible, if that will be uh, something that would um, will happen this summer. But uh, we really hope so. And uh, that's the, I mean that's the, that's the final thing of the the create. You've only been in this creative like space, and the final part is like meeting an audience and playing it live. But right now we don't really know, so that's what we hope for. But uh, play some live shows, and then I mean we already have an EP that we is ready to to be launched. So yeah, we've been working. <laughs> okay, are you guys uh, planning to come in to South America? Well, there is not like anything booked yet because we don't have like anything booked yet, like in not sure. Europe, but. I mean, South America is like one of our dreams to to come and to to play some shows. I mean, to to Colombia and to Mexico. I mean, all over the place. That would be. Um, we really hope so. I would say so. I really hope okay, so. Thank you. That was great. I, I, uh, we know that you're busy. You're you're fixing your house right now. Your yeah, new no house. Worries. So we we really appreciate this time with us. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I appreciate you taking the time, man. Okay. 
we hope to see you soon in South America. Yes, yes, me too. And we hope you 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 can uh, start playing live again. Yes. So do we. So do we, Diego. Let's hope so, man. Okay. So thank you again for your time. And have a great thank day. Yeah, thank you so much, Diego. Have a good one, eh?